Hey everybody, Mandy here, and I just wanted to come to you really fast today. Um, I had this nice, you know, live plan today, but um, things got a little tousled around, I guess, at my house this past week and this past weekend. Um, I have sick kids, and um, hey, Vanda, thanks for hopping on. And I'm going to share this in my group right now, too. So if you're in my group, you can see it as well. But I wanted to hop on here really fast and just kind of talk to you about three ways to keep yourself productive the day after, you know, those long nights with your baby or with your kids um, or sick kids. I don't have babies anymore, but I do have, um, at one time, I had three under the age of three, and oh my goodness, those sleepless nights came a lot. We are getting into the, um, to the part where we're sleeping a lot more now, but whenever they get sick, you all know, I mean, it, it kind of stinks some days, um, because you don't get very much sleep, but, and they don't either, so... Anyway, like I said, I had this whole other live plan today, but I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do it because I'm tired, but you know what? I was like, these mamas really need to see what real life is, is, and because every single one of you have been there and done that, I'm sure. As you can see in the background, usually my bed is made up. <laughs> it's not. It's got <laughs> all kinds of clothes all over it. Um, I usually have on makeup. I did put on just a little bit to make myself feel okay. But, and I have on a t-shirt and I have on shorts and, um, this is real life. My, it, to be honest with you, my teeth probably didn't get brushed until, um, noon today. So just be glad that, you know, there's a screen in between there. But anyway, this is real life total real life it threw us for a loop them getting sick nothing major just ear infections and stuff like that but enough to make everybody miserable and they're miserable so they don't sleep very well and whenever they don't sleep very well neither do you so whether they're babies or kids it's just it's on it's like it's the real deal so these are three ways to keep keep yourself productive the day after um, a long night with your baby or sick kids, like I said. These are three things that helped me, and they helped me today, too, because honestly, I didn't want to get up out of the bed, and it was really hard today. So, the number one thing that I reach for um, is, oh my gosh, my trusty peppermint oil. I love this stuff. Usually the day after, um, I, I usually hold tension in between um, my, yes sir, the you've got the hiccups. Can you wait a second I until I, that. no, right, not right now. Go that way. I have I'm so sorry. See, real life. <laughs> um, anyway, peppermint oil love this stuff because usually I hold tension in between my shoulder blades and in the back of my neck, especially if I have not had a lot of sleep. So I reach for this trusty little thing, peppermint oil here. I put it into a carrier oil, which usually is um, coconut oil uh, for me because I love it so much. I'll put it on the back of my neck um, and I also go around, I'll open it up and <laughs> sniff it too because something about peppermint oil just it'll get rid of a headache it gets rid of tension it also um just kind of energizes you a little bit so peppermint oil is huge in my house i love it we use it a lot a lot we use it topical and through the diffuser so it's like huge number two um b12 <laughs> Seriously, B12. I take it in the morning, and then just a second ago, I took a little, a little uh, teaspoonful of it. Love this stuff. Um, love this stuff. I hear children back there. Um, 
is the best thing because it'll give you just a little bit of a jolt so um, you don't have to reach for that coffee and you can keep being a little bit more productive as well. Number three, water. I, I have a huge hydro flask and I fill it up all the time. So, um, it's, I drink it all the time. So if anything, if anything, it's going to keep you going to the potty and it's going to keep you going to the bathroom all day long. So you're going to have to get up and go to the bathroom anyway. So just think of it like that. Just drink it. I mean, it's going to help. So, I'm knocking through these pretty fast because I hear my kids in the background. Um, they're starting to feel a little bit better, so they're starting to fight a little bit too. So, yeah. And then, um, number four, get dressed. Uh, especially you stay-at-home moms like me. Um, you know, it's so easy for us to sit around in our PJs and not get dressed but on the days that you really don't want to get dressed get dressed put on a little bit of makeup as you can see i didn't put on a lot today because i just wasn't feeling it and i was really tired but i felt like this was a topic that everybody could hear about and i really wanted you to see the real deal um me with not very much makeup um you know my bed not made up and um clothes in the in the hamper basket i mean this is real stuff guys real stuff so and it happens with everybody but anyway so get dressed i mean just get in the shower you don't have to fix your hair you don't have to put on makeup just get in the shower and and take two seconds for yourself i know that it's really hard whenever it comes to having kids at home and they're sick and they're always wanting you and but you know take that time for yourself for just two minutes i mean i can remember the twins um whenever they were little which here comes one um when they were little i used to put their bouncy seats in the bathroom and every two seconds i was opening up the door to make sure that everybody was okay and i'd open it up again find what works for you and take a shower i mean even if it's for two seconds i love it can you hang on one second dude um so yeah get dressed and if all else fails if all of these other tips do not work number one peppermint oil number two b12 number three water and number four get dressed i gave you a an extra one in there if all else fails go get the pot of coffee and just, I mean, it's on. Drink it. Do whatever you've got to do. I try so hard not to to live off of caffeine all the time, but hey, life's real. Just like with all of this back here, all of these clothes back here, and nobody's actually folding them yet, and they probably won't get folded today. I can just let you know. It's it's real. Yeah, dude. I love it. <laughs> So, all else fails, grab you that pot of coffee, drink the whole thing if you've got to, call a friend and say, hey, I'm about to pour this cup of coffee, can you give me five minutes, minutes, I just need to vent. So, that's real life, three ways and two bonuses there for you to keep yourself productive the day after a long night with your baby or sick kids. So, I hope that helps. And if you have any other ways that you get through the day that next day too, please give us some extra tips. We would love to hear it. So, until next time, we will... Hey, and by the way, before I leave, thanks everybody for joining. Thanks for being here. Here, let me scroll through some of y'all's stuff right here. Yes, peppermint oil is a go-to at our house as well. Yes, that stuff is the bomb.com. Um, and life is real. Yes, Brandy. Life is so real. Love that giggle. Yeah. <laughs> um, but thanks, y'all, for being here. And if you are catching the replay, 
say hello, share it with a mama that needs to hear it today, and I will see you in my group, Being More Than Just a Mom. Um, you are more than welcome to join it. It is a mom, uh, it is a group full of moms just like you, and we would love to have you. So go to my cover photo, click on it, and it'll take you to the link. Until then, I'll see you next time.